this is what I do when I peep by myself. Now that I'm getting older, my brain's kind of fucked. Welcome to Cabin Art Customs, my dad's motorcycle shop. As you can see around me, there are a few motorcycles. And yeah, I'm back in New Zealand. Biscuit made it with me. Um, she's still in kind of a package state. The, I did a really shitty packaging job on the way home. And she's mostly helping me to buy the, what are they called? Whatever these tires are, the fuck, bungee cords, the bungee cords. And packing tape, there's a guy in Rome that very kindly let me into a shop and then he turned out to be a racist, so. Um, I got out of there as quickly as I could. Yeah, I'm just hanging around here. I caught the cheapest flight back, which was to Auckland, and then uh, I actually live in Wellington, so I'm about 700, 800 kilometers away from where I actually need to be, and I'm not, I can't get a ride back to Wellington until next week. So I'm just kind of hanging out here, helping, helping my dad out with a couple of things. I'm doing this, um, so he's putting some balustrades up here, so I'm, I'm doing some painting for him. I used the chance yesterday to hook up this big motorcycle mount thing um, to try and do like a like maybe an intro if I if I ever feel like it. I can't. I've been trying so hard to edit it together, and it's 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 it's, it's just not coming together like I thought it would in my head. So maybe I'll work on that for the next like four years until I delete the footage by accident or something. It's just a quick tour, I suppose. So you come in through the front door. We've got the kitchen, office, we've got a workshop, and there's uh, kind of both types of storage at the front here, yeah, as well as the biscuit. I mean, you go upstairs, and there's more storage of my dad's stuff, but he just happens to have a bed in storage, which is where I'm sleeping. I don't have any of my stuff. Uh, before I left Rome, I threw out a fuckload of, like, like everything, like the tent, the sleeping bag. I actually forgot to throw it out. I left it in the hostel by accident. Um, and I managed to, I chucked both of my panniers that I had onto another bicycle that was just in the street. So hopefully those people wanted some bike bags. I threw out a lot of my clothing as well. I didn't really plan all that well because I've arrived back home and I don't have a sweatshirt. I've only got one pair of pants. I threw out my jeans. I threw out a whole bunch of t-shirts because they had holes in them. Yeah, sorry, I threw out my sweatshirt because it had hole in them. Hole, it had holes in it as well because of the, the laptop is somehow sharp enough to cut five or six holes into a sweater. Or the edges of the laptop, the edges of the MacBook. Surprisingly, no, no issues getting back through customs. I thought that they were going to pull me up on my passport, but no one even stopped me. I've, I've been here for a couple of days already, but I'm, I'm super jet lagged. And like, I thought I had it sorted out. I had 13 beers on the plane. I thought I'd be sleeping at the right time and waking up at the right time. And then I got back here and I fell asleep for like 16 hours. And then last night I slept for like four hours. And it's fucking doing my head in. Yeah, I don't really know where to go from here. I don't know what to do. Uh, I can't do anything, pretty much. I can't do anything at the shop, creatively, I suppose. Uh, unless I, I might make, I'm gonna make a couple of modifications to Biscuit. I'm gonna chop down the handlebars and get them, get her all put back together. I'm planning on taking the handlebars back to like a bullhorn thing, so I'll, I'll film that and, and chop that up as well. Yeah, I don't know what to talk about, so I'm gonna stop filming. Peace.